bored, Grandma. Can we go for a walk? I'd rather not. Is there something you'd like to watch instead? Tell you what we'll do then. Ah, oh, I'm sure it'll be here somewhere. Ah. Grandma Blanche bought you that, remember? Yeah, I remember. She's funny. Ah! What are you doing? Trying to cheer him up. <laughs> oh, no. Even when she didn't mean to be. See that picture? That's the town hall. Around 1960, I'd say. Isn't that ancient history? <laughs> if it is, I hate to think what that makes me. But that's the strange thing about time. Things alter around you constantly, but usually so slowly you don't even notice. It's only when you've stayed in one place as long as I have that you look back and you realise some things have gone forever. Phil, I hope they rebuild the shop and the cabin. The place wouldn't be the same without them. Although, I can remember that side of the street before the cabin was even thought of. Best to find the edges first. Yeah, an old lady lived there in the Glad Tidings Mission. Mrs. Sharples. You don't eat much, do you? No, I never was one for a big breakfast, Mrs. Sharples. Big breakfast? You've had nothing. Oh, I've had quite enough. Two cups of coffee and I'm ready to take on the world. A lot of people thought she was a bit of a dragon, but she had a nice side, just didn't like people seeing it. Long dead now, though. Have you known lots of people who've died? Too many, I'm afraid. How long have you keeping on this do till ten turn? No, they never said. Can't be over soon enough for me. Listen, Dave. Ah, uh, no. You listen to me for a change. Well, what do you want? A cup of tea? Once I know to a drop of rum. I want you to stop seeing him. Sir. No! He's no good. He isn't no good. I love him. And he loves me. Uh, then we should pick out the sky pieces. You know, it's always sad when you have to say goodbye to people, but it helps you to cherish people while they're still with you. <laughs> no, Grandad. <laughs> Best piece calls there. Something else I learned is you should always forgive your enemies. There's a man called Mike once. I never really liked him. Not this one! No! 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 Come here! Leave it out! Alright? Just leave it! Alright. I never started it. Started it? We started everything. We had a big falling out over Deirdre and we hated each other for so many years after that. But in the end, all that bitterness achieved nothing. You're finished, Barlow. Deirdre loves me. She's mine, I... Oh! Huh? No! <laughs> Mike! Come on! Come on! Oh, no! No. So should you love everyone, Grandad? No, no. Because it's all too easy to love too much sometimes. Because you can end up hurting those you love most of all. Look, love, uh, why don't you just concentrate on being a marvellous little wife and mother, eh? Love can be moonlight on a lagoon or comfort, companionship and security. But one is inevitable. With the other, there's a chance. You won't be driving tonight, would you? Lost you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Now, when I look back, I've met some wonderful people on this street. Like who? Grandad. I've lived here all my life. I've seen a lot of people come and go. A lot of changes, a lot of dramas down this street. <laughs> like lots of other streets where people are living and trying to get together. It's just that I find there's something a little bit special about this one. Uh, and yeah. I know that you all feel the same. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you
invite you to raise your glasses with me and drink a toast to Coronation Street. <laughs> like I said, things change. People come and go. But you know what? As long as you can recall how people make you laugh and cry and how they make you love them for who they are, then they'll always be with you. There! We've done it! <laughs> now, about that walk. Why don't you go and get your wellies? Yes. <laughs>